so this is about uh, something i had said in in an earlier episode of, about the fact that isro is so so badly underfunded we have the best scientists in the world the most talented people in the world and yet isro is not really basically it's not developing any new technology right now it's not developing reusable rockets it's not developing boosters that can come back and return to earth on their own it's not uh, building heavier rockets it not it's not looking into light sail technology i mean it's just like a commercial enterprise which launches satellites for various governments and private companies for a fee and that's all it does it's the pslv in the G- and the gslv and the reason for this is that there is no ambition on the part of the political dispensation of india politicians have no amb- scientific ambition apparently because we don't see any sign of it and that's why they are not funding isro enough so that it can develop more newer technologies larger more powerful rockets etc for example if you want to send a mission to the moon you can't send a rocket that goes straight to the moon you have to lift that uh, spacecraft into orbit and then you have to do a number of orbit raising maneuvers it takes months to reach the moon if you had a powerful enough rocket you could reach the moon in what two three days less than a week for sure so that's the kind of uh, limitations isro is hamstrung with it's all about funding and there's not enough funding to do all all this right so the question is if the government is unwilling to fund isro can the people isro fund isro how can we fund isro directly etc so here's the point let's say we start a crowdfunding campaign hmm? all of us together uh let's say we all donate 1000 rupees each and if it is 1 lakh of us so that's 10 lakhs is 1 crore so you may have 100 crores no 100 lakhs is one is 1 crore so if each of us raises a, donates 1000 rupees you may, we may be able to raise 10 crore rupees well and even if it's not just 1 lakh of us even if it's 1 crore of us each giving 1000 rupees we can raise 100 crore rupees for isro now how do we fund isro with that money we're going to have to hand that money over to the administrators and bureaucrats who oversee and control the budget of isro right and then it's all in their hands it's not like the government of india doesn't have money they have the money but all these scientific projects and programs in india are all run by bureaucrats who know nothing about science and who don't really care about anything except bureaucracy right so this budget will be i mean the allocation will be decided by the bureaucrats and they may even shift the money elsewhere because they may decide that isro doesn't really need that sort of money and all the projects have to be sanctioned by the bureaucrats who govern isro or drdo or anything right so the real problem is not the scientists the scientists are not in charge of the budget they don't have the power to decide the budget they don't have the power it is the bureaucrats and the higher ups in the government who decide all these budgets and decide the allocation of funds and all that so even if we raise some kind of money and hand it over to the government for isro eventually it's going to go into the hands of these bureaucrats and that my friends is the real problem in the governance of india the bureaucrats i am not saying they are all bad people there are many nice people as well okay there are many patriotic people even in the bureaucracy ias etc and yet the the system is built in such a manner that even if you are one patriotic person you cannot do anything except what the system tells you if you if you try and go against the system you're going to be transferred 15 times in 10 years and you're going to end up doing nothing so that is the problem in india we are stuck with this colonial era system and the governments throughout the decades have done absolutely zero to try and reform the system so today we have this young energetic nation nation we have teenagers we have 20 year olds and all of them all of you guys want to see massive change you want to see massive progress you want to see the, the nation unleashed the energy unleashed and it is these colonial systems that are holding you back the entire government is is designed like this the moment you try and interface with the government the moment you approach any government organization or or organ you know how it feels it's like time has stopped <laughs> so that is the system that is what we need to see 
change. So even if we raise money for Israel, it's going to end up in the hands of the bureaucrats and then God alone knows what happens with it. Unfortunately, that is where we are today, 70 plus years after independence. It's still like we are in 1947, unfortunately. 